Okay, guys, Jason is busy with his mom who's in the hospital, so I'm back as AI audiophile junkie to give you an intro to this video. You guys should enjoy this one. It includes the rooms of three big time audiophile brands Audio Note, Borison, and Infigo Alta Audio. Plus, this show is great for audiophile vendors for room treatments, cables, and accessories. A few of those booths are featured in this video. Enjoy.
All right, look who I found. How's it going? Hey. How are you? What do we have here? Well, we're here at Pacific Audio Fest, uh, representing Blue Jeans Cable and Iconoclast Cable. Of course, uh, everybody on this channel knows a lot about that. We did those long uh, videos uh, talking about the power cord, so here's one of those. And of course, the Octo Quad's very popular. I made a special one just for the show. Um, it's got this nice gold um, underneath, uh, so it kind of has a nice sparkle effect to it. Otherwise, it's the same cable. If you happen to be in Seattle and you see this video and you want to come down this weekend, these are for sale. Special deal. All right. So, yeah. What else do we have down here? So, on this side, we're doing the Iconoclast stuff. I know uh, we talked a little tiny bit on the channel about the Iconoclast. And uh, everything that we've discussed as far as speaker cable design, this is the kind of the penultimate version of it. Did I say that word right? An ultimate version of that. So, you know, instead of like the eight, you know, or four conductors per leg, it's 48. And of course, the material is different. So these are all made in the, Benj the Belden Engineering Labs. And um, Galen Garris, who was the uh, lead design engineer for 30 years, designed all of this stuff. So this is really the ultimate when it comes to speaker cable you can't get any better than this we've measured this against everything and um, you know for that market it's actually pretty reasonably priced you know, um, so like the most expensive one which is this guy here is uh, 3400 so it's a lot compared to blue jean stuff but compared to a lot of this high-end stuff i mean this is very very uh, good thing to about. well good deal well thank you very much Okay, Apollo Audio. Look who's here. Oh, greetings. Oh, greetings, everybody. Nice to see you guys. What a great show yesterday. We had a great crowd and the entertainment that both Lou and Gary, uh, it was just amazing. And Bob had fun with that new speaker concept that I bumped into yes. yesterday. Well, I uh, just want to let you know that uh, uh, Mike Knowles, as you well know, uh, Jason interviewed him very shortly at the Expona show. Uh, Mike Knowles is really the grandfather of the modern day tone arm. Uh, in 76, he came out with the uh, HR100S. Uh, now he's back with the HR200S, which we actually showed for the first time at Expona. And a lot of people actually have used this. In 1978, the Absolute Sound called this the reference tone arm. So Mike's over 70 years old and he's back in the business and he's created this 200S over the 100S because he realized that all the formulas that we used were incorrect. When we're taking a look at cartridge and cartridge compliance, the formula that he demonstrated to everyone that all the tone arm manufacturers have been using was talking about spring elasticity. And we do not have spring elasticity in cartridges we have elastomers. So all the designs and all the reverberations and everything down from the cartridge all the way up through the tone arm and the tone arm all the way down are incorrect. So yes, he introduced this and uh, his patent hasn't come through, but there is something that he's uh, creating and will be publishing, which is basically a cartridge stabilizer. Uh, now there are products like the Houdini, that's the product that I was talking to with JR yesterday, where people would buy a $400 isolator that would work between the cartridge uh, and the, uh, and the uh, tone arm assembly, which basically is a band-aid. It really doesn't do much and it actually hurts the compliance. 
So Mike has created a cartridge stabilizer. It's a new word. We were discussing it with JR, where JR said it actually should be called perhaps a tone arm stabilizer, but it's really a cartridge stabilizer because the noises are coming from the cartridge through not that not the other way around. So I don't have to sh I don't have it here to show uh, because he's waiting for his patent application, which will be another three or four weeks. It's delayed, but that's going to be the best addition to your tone arm. Uh, and also obviously to his tone arm. And that coupled with JR's uh, shimming of the Zenith Correction, those are products that are really going to make something extraordinary happen to your auditory experience in your turntable. And then finally, obviously, all of us here, whether it's Norm, whether it's JR, whether it's myself, we like to do where the needle is actually picking up all the detail out of the stamper. Now, one of the other prints that we've introduced is what we call a pin jack. This is something that Michael Knowles has also invented, and it's one of the weaknesses is these connectors here, when we're changing cartridges, if we don't have a removable shell, like in my 70s generation SL from uh, Techniques, is where we don't have proper kinching. So that's another weak link. So he has a pin jack uh, that's very affordable. It's about $35 and now you're able to easily change your cartridge and still maintain the connection. So these pins that come out, you just solder your wires on there, and now you're very easily able to remove them back and forth without damage. So that's what's new. I wish I had the cartridge stabilizer here, but as soon as that comes out, so for the Capital Audio Show, we'll have it. And that's it for me. See you guys later. All right. Hey, yeah, how's it going? Hey, how are you? Good, good. Adam Vassar. Nice to meet you. You too. Uh, I've teamed up with uh, ASC Studio Traps, two traps. Um, I do the listening chairs, bring them in from Artifort in the Netherlands. Uh, ship anywhere in the continental U.S. for free. Uh, send out fabric, leather samples. This is actually my, uh, my apartment in Philadelphia. So I utilize the studio traps, and electrostatic speakers, sound sound. Fantastic. I'll my car, V4 design specialist. How long is the uh, shipping time for once uh, something's ordered? They're all, and... they're all special ordered. Okay. It's about 16 weeks. Um, but uh, they come into our distribution hub in Baltimore and then ship out throughout the country. Okay. Uh, it's like an heirloom type of piece. You give it to your grandchildren. Beautifully made. Oh, wow. Uh, made in the, yeah, as I said, Dutch craftsmanship. Just wonderfully produced. And then you can order different colors and. Different colors, fabrics, leathers. Uh, okay. We send out complimentary uh, samples. Uh, so you can really get a feel for the texture, the tactile feel, the leather. Uh, and they have different acoustic properties as well. Okay. Versus wool fabric. Well, good deal. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thanks, Bob. How's it going? Hey, how are you? Good, good. What do we have here? Uh, Snicker Radio. I uh, do handcrafted, made, uh, made by hand cables, uh, using 24 karat pure gold and pure silver. Oh, wow. Yeah. Everything is completely made by hand, one at a time. No mass production at all. I like from the, the bare that wire. Goes. That's cool. Yeah. That's actually our boom sling. And if you look up the boom sling snake, it uh -huh. looks exactly like that. It's green and black. It's really cool. And this is your power so, cable? This is a power cable. It won a bunch of awards. And uh, it, it is also uh, pure gold, pure silver, and uh, pure copper. In fact, here's some uh, this wire here is some of the actual wire that's used in some of these cables. And you see the strands of pure silver and pure gold. Uh, we're up here in the Pacific Northwest. We're uh, right by Hell's Canyon, which this picture here was taken about a mile from my house. Oh, that is that is cool. Where is your uh, brochure and your price list? Uh, everything's online at snakeriveraudio.com. Okay, good yeah, deal. Easy way to get that. All righty. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, we're getting ready to walk in. It's Thursday. Pre-show.
Here we go. Hello, guys. Hello. How's it going? Pretty good. Good, good. Hi. And good your names? Ya. I'm Hans with Infigo Audio. All Hans right. Lama, John Stratton from Pure Fidelity. Good deal. Show me around. Okay. Well, we're, we just basically finished our sound check and this and that, so we're about to relax. Oh, yep. good. So, so, yeah, we got a little bit of a product presentation area here. So this is where you can see some of the Infigo audio equipment. This is our method seven preamplifier. Uh, you will also be able to hear it right there. So we built these always so that you can actually have a look inside. They come with a top, but also with a clear top. Always like that, just not just for the show, but it's because we like to show off what it is that we have here, right? That is beautiful. Yeah, thank you. And so this is our stereo amplifier. This is two times 100 watts in class A. So it's not cooking the room. It is getting a little warm, but it's not like that overly heat. And so now a new product that we're showing here is our subwoofer amplifier. This is a class D amplifier. That's the first for us to do class D. We always do only class A, but to get raw power to a subwoofer, it's actually quite nice. So there's a lot of controls on this thing. As you can see, you can just basically dial in pretty much any subwoofer to any system with all these phase controls and gain controls and what have you. There's a lot of that stuff going on there. And then I'm going to turn the word to John. <laughs> yeah, we just bought a few things down for static display. Of course, the, the main room has our, our, new, uh, our new tables called the uh, Symphony. It's a uh, new, th big, thick platform. It's basically taken the harmony to sort of the maximum it can go. And it's, of course, got a, a, a new 12-inch tone arm that we've developed called the Savant. So we're pretty excited about that. It sounds, it sounds brilliant. So this. We just brought a few things to show static display. A lot of people are confused when they see our, our isolation platform, they're not sure how it works. So we brought this to sort of explain to them how, how it all works. And this, um, again, just showing the conductors and the colors that they're available in. And then uh, we just brought a couple of uh, static display of our other models. This is our Harmony Mark II Rose. This is our biggest seller by far. Um, although the symphony might change that, we'll see. Um, and then this is our uh, basic table encore. When I say basic, all our tables are very, very high quality. It's not a, it's not an entry level product. And then this one here, we just, we just brought that to show some of the customation that we do. This is quilted maple dyed in sort of a, a wine color, and then we did it with an acrylic platter instead of Delrin. So, oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. So it's. Uh, just trying to sort of show people that you can do some different things. Although our our standard finishes are, are very popular, especially our quilted maple. Good deal. Yeah. Well, and then there's of course speakers. So it's usually Mike Levy that talks about the speakers, but I'll talk a little bit about it because I've done a lot of shows with him. So I know a thing or two of these. So uh, on static display here, are these Alissas. So these are the smallest speakers, but don't get fooled by size because these things can go very low. They have a um, XDL base uh, transmission line system in them so that they makes them go very, very low and very powerful. So it's an interesting little speaker. So then here is the Adam. That's a three-way speaker. Um, you can see that here. So most of, of or actually if all speakers of uh, of Alta Audio have these uh, ribbons here as the high frequency. And this speaker also goes pretty much like down to 28 hertz or so. I mean, oh, wow. It's, it's like a bone shaking bass speaker. It's, it's very nice. And yeah, the Aphrodite is what you can hear and see in the other room. So that's their latest speaker. It's a half dipole uh, because this here, all the way up from the bass goes dipole and the mid range, the high and the low frequencies are uh, front facing. So let's go uh, to the last thing here. There's panels and yeah, you can't really see much here, but you can see them in Optima Forma in the other room. So let's... So yeah, here you can see the way that we build these class A amplifiers. This is our class A amplifier. Um, it's not cooking the room. That's our, our nice thing. So it's class A, but you can still touch this. It's not extremely hot. 
So that's our, our magic sauce here, because we do like the, the purity of uh, class A. And so this is new. You've seen the closed version at the other room. This is our uh, opened up version. Uh, it's the 500 watt subwoofer amplifier. Very powerful. And then, yeah, here's the equipment. So you see speed controller. That's the conductor that John was talking about at the other room. Here's our brand new streamer. That's a new product that we're debuting also this uh, show. Uh, our DAC and then our preamplifier like you've seen in the other in the other room. And of course, this is the new uh, brand new 12 inch tone arm new uh, symphony symphony turntable. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's really the harmony which I showed you earlier. It's kind of taken that same concept to kind of all the way, the max way. So we, we looked at different designs, isolating motor, direct, did a bunch of things and just kept coming back to the original design and, and just uh, the things a little beefier and better isolation, better tone arm and stuff. So it's, uh, we're very excited about it. And it sounds, sounds incredible. Yeah, and then here you see these Aphrodite speakers and there's new subwoofers that's also debuted this show. Uh, from Alta that we brought in. Uh, we have a big room here, so it's always nice to have a little bit of support. We don't really need them because these actually go low enough, but it's fun if you can, right? So let me just get the remote control and we'll just put on some music for you.
Thank you very much. That sounded great. Track, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, so that's Lincoln Majorca. And the fun part of this is Sheffield's lab recording. So it's a direct to disc recording. So those are always quite nice. And uh, it's already an older work, but uh, it still sounds very nice and sparkling. Good it's always deal. a nice thing of vinyl, right? It survives time. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, well, thank you so much for stopping by.